In this example, we want to show uh, that if A is invertible, um, which implies that A is non, which implies that A is a non-singular matrix, then the the uh, determinant of A inverse is equal to or is the same as one over the determinant of A. All right. So again, this is a another. Uh, this is an if-then statement. So we need to. Um, go ahead and assume the uh, assume that uh, assume this part. Okay, so we're going to assume that that A is invertible. Okay. So then, from here, what we can do is um, we can use a little bit of, of uh, some of the properties uh, that were stated before okay so if we have the determinant of a inverse times the determinant of a okay so this okay this can be written as okay recall that if you have The determinant of, let's say, uh, a1, a2, all the way up to an, this is the same thing as determinant of a1 times determinant of a2, dot, 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 times determinant of a, in, in, a sub n. So we can use, so we can use this property here now. So this is going to be equal to the determinant Okay, we can write this all under the determinant of A inverse times A. A times A inverse is just the identity matrix. So that's going to give us the determinant of the identity matrix. And the determinant of, of the identity matrix is just 1. So therefore, okay, um, Therefore, we have, okay, we have that the determinant of A inverse times A, sorry, uh, let me rewrite that. That is the determinant of A inverse times the determinant of A. Okay, so this, so we showed that this is equal to 1. So the determinant of A inverse times the determinant of A is 1. So therefore, this is equivalent to the determinant of A inverse, okay, which is equal to 1 over the determinant of A. And that is the same thing as this, okay, so. Okay. So therefore, we proved uh, we we proved our result. Okay.